Good Saturday morning, everybody. It's Trevor Thompson, the self-appointed Looney Tunes critic in here with you. And today we're watching Little Red Riding Rabbit, a, uh, a special cartoon, very favorite of mine. Um, and uh, I'll get into uh, reasons about that. But uh, before we even get started, uh, while we're here in the titles, uh, there were some uncredited animators here. Manny Perez got all the credit, and there, there needs to be credit where credit's due. Dick Beckenbach, Jack Bradbury, Ken Champin, Gary Chinequi, Virgil Ross, and Gil Turner also worked on this. Now, this little gorgeous beast right here, she, uh, let me let you hear her gorgeous singing voice. That's uh, B. Benaderet, but uh, she is impersonating Cass Daly. <laughs> so uh, she's um, she's a radio character, actually a personality. She's a real person. She does kind of look like that. She sometimes has those glasses. She has that hair, and. Um, and she she can sing she's but she's very loud and boisterous but uh the reason i personally remember this character is because she reminds me a lot of a girl i dated in high school who i was secretly in love with for a long time named sherry, sherry. and uh she wasn't as loud and you know like this but she did she had the body and she had those that hair and she she wore those big round rim glasses and she she captivated my heart she had me oh sherry sherry so uh but no this is uh kind of uh this is what's great about the looney tunes cartoons is that they you know you don't know who cast daily is you don't know who my my <laughs> my girlfriend sherry was sherry. but uh you still remember these characters because they're interesting and because you know the, you're you're in the capable hands of of you know Manny Perez and and uh Mike Maltese and Fritz Freeling and all these guys but um just for a historical perspective let's uh let's spend a little bit of time with the real cast daily Grandma I brought a little bunny rabbit for you no, that's not the real one. This is the real one. Here's a clip from the Kaz Daily radio show. Oh, gee, Grandpa. You know it's nice of you to dry the dishes for me. Oh, well, glad to do it, Cassie girl. You need help. Family like this dirties up an awful lot of dishes. You said it, Grandpa. Getting so, I have dishpan hands clear up to my armpits. <laughs> well, maybe it's the kind of soap you're using. Oh, no, no. This is the latest thing. It's got that brand new germicidal formula. Oh, kills germs, eh? Well, not exactly. It makes the germs kill themselves. Huh? Yeah. You see, uh, the soap is made of alcohol and sand. Alcohol and sand? Yeah, so the germs get drunk and throw rocks at each other. <laughs> and also, Sherry, um, my girlfriend, Sherry. Sherry! She was also a little bit like, uh like this character in that she and I would uh, occasionally engage in Little Red Riding Hood cosplay. So, you know. I, by the way, I uh, when I was a kid, like at 12, I fancied myself in a pseudo-intellectual and I sincerely thought this was like an homage to M.C. Escher, not knowing the time frame of <laughs> you know when this was done versus... And plus, just the the arrogance of it. It's like, no, it, it it doesn't have anything to do with that other than it involves a staircase and a com. I like that face back there, by the way, in the window. I never noticed that for years because of the bad TV uh, copies that we had on VHS over the year, over the years. Um, this wolf, by the way, speaking of uh, B. Benaderet and Cass Daly and all these great radio vo vocal people. I love that Bugs is there when he actually points it there. Um, the voice here is Billy Bletcher of The Wolf. Here's your God. Ah, Sherry, tout sweet, qu'est-ce que c'est, filet de mon petit le mon pampa, hein? Get out! If the, if the voice sounds at all um, familiar, it's, first of all, if you're just an animation fan, that's uh, that's Pete from Disney. You know, Pete the, the big hulky... I don't know if he's a dog or whatever, but, uh... Why you? Why you? Hey, now! Hey, now! Cut that Cut out, 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 out
Yeah, and he was also in a lot of the early Ub uh, Iwerks uh, cartoons. But uh, if you if you want to go strictly Warner Brothers on this, this is uh, this is uh, the same guy who was the uh, Papa Bear in uh, Chuck Jones's uh, you know Three Bears uh, characters. You know, Mama, my pole, that whole thing, and he's the he's the father figure. You know, I don't want breakfast in bed. I hate breakfast in bed. Um, oh, my own bonnet with the blue ribbons on. I love that he goes back into the into the bit that that Bugs distracted him with. Um, <laughs> also, uh, coming up here, as I said on an earlier commentary for Stage Door Cartoon, there's a piece of dialogue that uh, Mel did that uh, got reused. Uh, I we believe I believe from this cartoon, uh, and it's uh, when uh, you know when when he switches all the stuff off here. By the way, Bugs has a weird cream color on his face and belly and hands and everything. It's not it's not the generic white. It's like a yellowish white. I, I, they never repeated that in other cartoons, and I I wonder why. It's kind of an interesting. Uh, point but this here is where bugs the piece of dialogue that they get reused in uh, stage door cartoon grandma hey grandma i'll do it but i'll probably eat myself in the morning oh yeah so um anyway and once again my last appearance of sherry sherry my girlfriend who uh there, believe me there was definitely a fire between her legs too All right, everybody, (laughs) that was a good one. I'm so funny. All right, guys, see you next week.